Oh, Christy, with another find from today. Um, I found the same place I got my AWA P2. Um, this one had an asking price of $20 on it. Well, um, just first off, this will be a short video because my camera's almost out of battery. But um, I didn't know how much this was, so I took it up to the counter and asked the guy there. He kind of looked, he kind of looked it over. He tried turning the CRT cap on the back and you could tell by the look on his face he was going what the hell is this piece of alien technology um, so we just pulled a number out of the air, said $20 um, I had $20 on me so yeah, it was a pretty good bargain so it's a vintage Telequipment D52 cathode ray oscilloscope um, I'm not sure how old it is, but at a guess, I'd say it's from the 1960s. Um, it uses uh, 15 valves. I haven't been able to get it open yet, though, unfortunately. I have no clue how to open it up. And it also uses transistors, so technically it's a hybrid. Um, so, yeah, it's a good little um, bench oscilloscope, apparently designed um, with television servicing in mind. So. It's got an orange um, cover over CRT which you can remove and all the ones I found online um, are blue so I don't know, I guess these came in different colours I'd, I'd be interested to see what colour the phosphor on the CRT is actually So it's a dual trace oscilloscope It's pretty good for $20 So. I'm not sure how well it works yet. I haven't tested it and, and I don't plan on testing it anytime soon because I don't have any equipment up here at my dad's house with me. But it's got a pretty cool voltage selector there and got a little fuse there. So, yeah, so anyways, I just thought I'd post a quick video of that. So, that's the second of my two finds from today, so cheers, Chris.